Okay, um, welcome to a travel lodge in Slough and welcome to a quick tutorial on my piece which is the feathered bird. So this is for the guys back at Fenton House but anybody who would like to make this are more than welcome. What I have laid out here are all the pieces that are required except just for one wing. So two pieces here are our body pieces, the four pieces here are our tail and then the pieces around here are our wing, of course, of which you will need two. So we'll go through the build with you and uh, hopefully it should be an easy enough one to copy and replicate. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is just push all the wings pieces aside and push the tail pieces to the other side. And we will start first off with our two body pieces, okay? Now, looking at the body pieces, the smaller of which with the threads will go on top. And what we are doing is we are matching up one side. So if you can see, one side is nicely lined up here. And we can just quickly connect on one side. So each one of these threads is wrapped around, just like that, just do it with your fingers. If you don't want to use your fingers, you can use your pliers, if you have pliers. If you haven't got pliers, then go and get some. Here are my pliers, little pair of bent nose pliers, and all I'm going to do is just use them to give the threads a little pinch, get them a little bit neater, get the sharp point out the way, and what it does, as well as aesthetics, it helps us to be able to pull away at the wire and to create our shape with it. Okay, so we've got one side connected up, the other side still needs to be connected up. However, the bottom piece is larger. So what we do is we pinch the bottom piece so that the top piece can then stretch over and we're gonna again attach it to the other edge of the bottom piece. And again, just wrap around the feathers, sorry, wrap around the threads. There's that one there, a little bit more awkward. Up to the top. Again, wrap them around. It's a nice, simple little bird, but very effective. It's always been a favorite. One of the first ones that I put together many years ago, and I've never changed it. Which is saying something, because a lot of my templates, they get altered here, there, and everywhere as little improvements happen, but this one I've always been more than happy with. So again, work our way along the edges, get those threads nice and neat. At the back end, we've got three threads. What I'm gonna do with the thread on the top piece is just bend it to one side over so it's nice and neat. And then the two threads on the bottom piece, I'm gonna wrap them around that top piece again get them nice and neat. So we've got a good base upon which we can add the tail. There it goes, second one round. Marvellous. At this end, again, we have our three threads. We're just gonna bunch them together, grab them and twist them together to make our beak. There it is, nice and simple. So there's the shape, what we're gonna do now Give it a bit of work, pull at it to form shape. I'm on the side, got my finger cut, not cut, just trapped. There's a thread there, could do, do it with a little bit more coaxing around, make it as neat as possible. Up to the head, and just pull it around. And this you can just carry on until you're happy with what you've got. And we can always have a little bit of play when the wings are on, this sort of thing. Okay, also notice in the middle, we have the two points where we've not had any threads and we've not connected, but they are left open so that we can connect the wings to them. And speaking of the wings, let's move over to the wings. That piece out of the way, okay. So, this is the arm of the wing, and then we have a number of feathers, okay? If you wanted to make something a little bit more different, just extend the arm, 
add in more feathers. The choice is yours. It's your sculpture. So what we're going to do is go one, two, three, and just add one after the other. So simplest way to do this, take our first piece. We're going to make the threads nice and straight, so they're nice and simple. Here's our second piece. And what I'm gonna do is fold it over so the non-thread side of the second piece can match up there with the threads of the first. Hopefully that all makes sense. And we're gonna twist them round. Again, I shall zoom in so we get a better look at what I'm doing here. So, around they've gone. And again, one, two, make it nice and neat. A little bit of rushing here, but we can take our time. There we are. So, nicely connected together. And then, simply open up. The second piece, sorry, the second piece, we straighten out the threads, grab the third piece, and again, connects to there. So hold it flat against. Round the threads go. There we go. Again, nice and easy. One, two, three, four. And the next one opens up again open it up if you can you can make it a little bit neater threads on the third piece flattened out onto the fourth and again guess what on they go around they go again make them as neat as you can Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Feather number four. And then we're coming to the edge or the corner bits of the wing. So next piece again goes on as such. Fold it out. Around they go. Around it goes. Pinch, pinch, pinch there, and pinch there. So there we have all but one of the feathers. The last one, we have the three points at an angle, and the three points of our last piece. Again, put them flat together, and then we can take these threads Wrap them round, wrap them round, wrap them round. Pinch. Number two, and number three. I'm just gonna do that one again. Okay. So now we have our wing all connected up. Quite simple, quite straightforward, I hope. The arm of the wing, what we're going to do is going to fold that in half lengthways there we have it now the easiest way to connect the wing to the arm this end here will be connected to the main body of the bird so i'm going to do the first of our threads which is at this end not the curved end but the straight end first one there again i'm going to hold it so that the arm is, if you like, upside down to the wing, but we can see nicely that the thread is sticking out. I'm gonna go through the feathers, through the arm, got my pliers on the thread, and I'm going to twist it round. There it is on the inside. There it goes. Get a nice connection. Give it a squash. That should be all good. Marvelous. Now I can fold it out. What I'm then going to do, and this is the tricky part, if you like, of the build, is I'm going to fold the wings up. Get it out of my way. You can see how it's kind of like arching the back of the wing there. So I'm going to the final feather here at the corner, opposite the threads, right here. Again, a little bit of an awkward piece. So I'm going to turn it upside down. Get comfortable with what I'm doing. 
This time I'm going to go in underneath, grab that thread, twist it round. Whichever way is convenient for you, whichever way works. The simplest way to do it, there we go. Little squash. And these two threads at the end, what I'm going to do is just wrap them around. Wrap them around the feather at the end. So I'm not folding them over, they're just being wrapped around right at the end there. Hopefully you can see that okay. Again, we'll zoom in so we can get a better look. Anyway, what that does leave us with is this strange scenario with the wing where none of it's in quite the right place, which is exactly what we want, luckily enough. So I'm going to go and take the centre ones, I'm going to push them towards the middle. Hold them in place, and as you can see, all of a sudden the different threads are up close, becoming a bit more squashed together. So I'm going to take that one, bend it in, all the way around the arm of the wing. Now that one's connected. Now looking at these three here, one, two, three in a row at the far end of the arm. We'll give that another twist round. Oops, one there, two, and the last one there. They might be in slightly different places when you put your feathered part of the bird of the bird wing on there. So long as they are sort of equidistance apart, there's no real problem where you put them. That's the marvelous thing with the chicken wire. It is your sculpture. Make it your way. Around it goes, little squash. Got the last three here. One through that hole. And then these two through this hole here. There's one. There's a second one. See, I could have put that one on that side, but for whatever reason, I put it through this hole. Again, no real difference. It don't matter. So we've got all the feathers on there. The arms are very thin. So first thing we're going to do is pull out to make this more of a tube-like piece. There we go. And then what we can do is start to pull at each of the feathers so that the wire almost concertinas and just becomes a little bit thinner. And I like to do this because it shows it to be a bit more feathery like if you, if you see my logic there. Just thins it down a little bit and gives it a bit more character and a bit more nuance. So there we have it. There's our wing. Okay. And as you might have noticed, I made another one already, which is over here. So we shall put those to one side onto the tail, which are just these four pieces. Okay. Now, I believe on the instructions or on the template, uh, you might have two of those to cut out. These are the two, but what I have done is taken off the threads on this one. So we've got the threads long on this side, short on this side. So we're gonna take those, pull them up. The second one, again, we're going to put them on top so they match up. Then we can just wrap the threads around. One, two, three, four. Okay, and again, just give it a little squash with the pliers. Just to make it a little bit neater, take away those sharp edges. We're ready for the next piece. Open it up again. We can give that little Constantina pull to the wire at this point, or when we put it all together, makes no odds. Now, what we've got are the two side ones, which are gonna fit about here. So again, the one with threads matches up with the one without. Round they go, one there, one there. Make it nice and neat, nice and neat. 
nice and neat. That's one. Marvellous. We could have the extra thread on there, really. Or we could even have it the other way around. Hmm. But again, the choice is yours. I can't remember whether I did that the other way around on the other ones. But I don't have the piece in front of me and I don't have the instructions, so... I'm winging the whole thing. There we go. Now we've got a bit more of a roundedness to the tail, so... What we're going to do is put it all together. There's our tail. There's our wings. Okay. We're happy. Let's crack on. Get those out of the way. So I've turned the bird upside down. This is the back end of the bird. We've got our tail pieces. You get the side ones out of the way. And the two centre ones can go just in the centre of the end of the bird. To hold that one under, I'm sorry, hold that one over, thread around, pull the thread around, Wash. there we go. I'm hoping you saw that one okay. See this one, I'm going to go underneath, why not? Can you see it through the hole and rust about? I'm going to grab it over the top. Then I'm going to come round to the side, and a little bit of body there we go, that's all good. This one I'm going to push in, holding it with my finger. See how I'm using my finger to move it? I can then grab the thread, there it goes, give it a little pinch. That's now in place. Turn around, a little squash there, and again, I'm pushing it through, and then use my finger to hold it in place. So we're happy, there's our thread. There it goes. Marvellous. And that should be our tail pretty much in place. Might need a little bit of pulling around just to get it as central as possible. No, but I'm quite happy with that. There, marvellous. Okay. Now, if you remember, we have these two points on the body of our bird, which we left open with no threads attached. That is so that we can take the four threads, one, two, three, four, the four threads at the end of the wing, and we are just simply going to attach them onto our bird. Now, looking at these, we can get a bit of a close up. What I tend to do just to make these a little bit more of a straight line and it makes the wing move around a bit further forward. So, I'm gonna take my piece, holding it in place. So, holding it with my finger and thumb, I'm holding the underside of the wing. I can let go, we're looking at this thread here. I'm gonna take it, under it goes, holding the body of the bird in my pliers. I'm going to push the wing thread underneath, grab it over the top, pinch, pinch. Then with the second, through the bird, take the thread of the wing all the way around, held in place. There's the first side connected, flip it over. The next two threads are waiting. And because it's connected, these ones are going to be a lot easier with a bit of luck. So get the body of the bird out of the way. Grab the thread, round it goes. Here's our first one. Second one, just grabbing the thread, forcing it over. Round so I can see it through the hole. Grab, over the top, pinch. First wing is on. Give the shape a bit more of a shape, bit of a play around. The second wing, here it is. Again, we have our four threads. Make sure that the bird's body is nicely shaped, ready for the threads. And again, in they come. 
holding the bird, the finger and thumb, take the thread. I'm into the body of the bird with my pliers, onto the thread of the wing with the top of the pliers, round it goes. Underneath, round it goes, pinch, attached. Now this thread seems to have wandered off a little bit, so I'm going into the body, grabbing it, and just putting it back over, round it goes. That one's now attached, oh, a little bit more. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Turn it over, our last two threads, one, two. Take the first one, bending it forward, so that I can then hook underneath the body of the bird, push that wing thread underneath again, catch it over the top, give it a pinch. Second one just here, there it is. So we're going to bend it down so that again, I can go through the wing into the body of the bird, take the thread with the top of the pliers, drive it round bit by bit. Oops, I think I might have missed that one. Let me try that one again. Oh no, I think we're all right. But just once more round, just to make sure. Plop, plop, plop. Okay, I think that's connected up. I had a little bit of a scratch of my finger there from this. So I'm just going to, again, okay, give that little squash. And again, we can play around with the shape till our heart's content, until we're happy with what we've got there. And that is our feathered bird. One of my favorite pieces. Anyway, any questions, drop me a line. Any problems, again, drop me a line. Good luck with the build. Take care now. Bye-bye.